Uh, here's where a lot of the fun starts. Time. Now with this volume envelope, it's going to be pretty important for you to mess around with this. Typically the most useful shape of the volume envelope is going to look like this with the attack all the way down, the hold all the way up, decay all the way down, sustain all the way down, and release all the way down. Sustain, it really doesn't matter. You can have it all the way up or down. It's not really going to change the sound. Now basically why I like this shape is because when you go into the piano roll, you could hear that without this envelope turned on, these notes are going to last as long as the sample lasts. So when you turn the envelope on, it's actually going to cut off right where I have the MIDI cut off. So that way you have a lot more control over the length of your 808s within the piano roll. And of course, if you wanted to adjust it to where it does cut off there, but has a little bit of a tail, just add a little release to it. So that way it's still cutting off right there, but the release is lasting a little bit longer after you're cut off. Now here's the LFO. People underestimate the LFO tool here. If we adjust this and increase the amount, It's literally adjusting the volume up and down at th whatever rate you choose right here. So let's increase that rate, make it faster. And the slower you make it, the less you're gonna hear this go up and down. This is about where you would wanna avoid. That sounds pretty good. This is just an interesting effect right there. Now really you would want to delay this and have this more on the tail end so we could push this back. Increase that amount. Let's adjust this to the tempo of the song. That's something I missed there. And these are the different shapes that you can mess with. This actually sounds a lot better than the sine waveform. The solid waveform is working a lot, a lot better. Or triangle, I should say. But yeah, that's for more advanced users and people that actually want to add a little something to the end of their 808. Now filters. One of the filters that I really recommend is SVF LP or SVF LP2. Let's just take our basic fast low pass and take a listen. This is your cutoff and this is your resonance. Pretty cool, but if you switch to SVF, it's going to sound deeper. And you can hear how uh, resonant that is. So the, basically all that's telling me with my ears is that I could go even deeper with this cutoff and you're still going to hear a lot of the 808. Now, if we're on regular low pass, it's not really standing out as much in these lower frequencies. It sounds kind of funky when you increase this resonance, but in something like SVF2, It actually sounds pretty dope with that type of 
filter. So let's reset this. I'm gonna leave that alone. Okay, mod X and mod Y, that's again referring to this right here, your cutoff and your resonance. And <clears throat> this is something that a lot of people don't mess around with. And I pretty much use it on every 808. But basically what it's doing, if you activate this envelope, it's going to change where this is going over time. So it's actually going to modify the overall frequency response of your 808 over time. So it actually adds a little more character. It adds uh, some movement to your 808. So let's just pick a good frequency here. Let's start with a higher frequency, something that really stands out, <clears throat> but you might not necessarily want that lasting throughout the entire 808. And that's where the envelope comes in. So the first thing that I do is increase the amount. That right there already, some people might be able to use that depending on the genre that they're messing with. But I go ahead and turn this attack down so that that's happening at the very beginning of the 808. Then I turn the hold down and then I basically wanna turn these down and adjust these later. I'm gonna use the decay to tell the 808 how long I want this to uh, go down for. Here's the before. and after. Now you're really gonna hear a difference when we combine that with the modulation uh, Y envelope. So let's turn this on, increase this amount. Now you can hear that high end fuzzing. That's what you want at the very beginning of your 808 so it really stands out. Let's increase that all the way up. Turn the hold down. Turn these down. Now you hear that attack on that 808? Without it. Now we're doing all this without saturation, distortion, limiting, compression, all those other effects that you can add on later on. We're already making this 808 stand out in the mix and without sidechain compression. Some of you out there that are watching this already know advanced techniques like that. So this is showing you that you don't necessarily have to sidechain compress. Let's turn the kick off. sounds beautiful. When you add in the kick, let's go ahead and go back to the main page and check the polarity of this. Again, reversing that polarity sounds a little stronger than Yeah, it's stronger right here. And again, just use your ears. It's not really a big deal in this example that I just showed you, but it's just a little tiny, tiny sound that you could hear that it's a little out of phase. And you'd basically just want these to hit as hard as possible. So reversing that polarity, a lot of times it's going to make a huge difference. So say you have, and this is really going to affect the polarity here because the pitch is actually going to physically change the way that this waveform is shaped. Or I should say it's physically going to change the timing of this waveform. So things are going to shift to the right or shift to the left. So that literally changes the phase relationship of this waveform to the kick that we're playing with. So let's increase this amount all the way up just to hear the effect. This is what it'll look like normally. So all I'm doing is increasing that, turning this down, turning this down, turning this down, turning this down. So now we just have the decay to work with. Horrible, right? Well, let's change this decay. And now we have a nice little attack at the beginning of our 808. Versus
Now there you could probably clearly hear that it's phasing a little bit. It sounds slappy instead of it hitting hard. So let's reverse the polarity and take a listen. Versus it's more pointy. It's hitting more direct. And again, the more you adjust this envelope, like say maybe you don't want that much of an attack, you just turn this amount down. I like it right there. And let's check the polarity. No, flabby. Harder, flabby. So yeah, that covers all the envelopes. But yeah, that about does it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you learned something, leave me a comment down below what you learned and drop me a like and definitely subscribe for more videos. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.